Hey kids, this is Jack. Uh, if you're uh, first time here, welcome to the channel. If uh, if you're a regular, welcome back. Welcome to my adventure jungle zoo. Jungle zoo. Uh, this is Planet Zoo um, sandbox mode. When last we left, we I had just put uh, some finishing touches on this Bonobo exhibit. Um, we're gonna why would that facility be inaccessible? No, that cannot reach habitat. Vet cannot reach habitat. Okay, well, hold on a second. We will solve these problems. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, this is um, a sandbox playthrough. And uh, when last I left, I was uh, putting the finishing touches on the Bonobo habitat. Now that that's pretty much done, I will continue working on the apes area. Um, and, you know, my next plan was to put uh, put in some load in some gorillas. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. All right. First thing I need is I need some tropical rocks. See what the alert is. Alert. Mandrel Talk One is inaccessible. I have to wonder why. It doesn't explain why it's inaccessible. Uh, so I'm seriously wondering whether it's inaccessible or not. So, let's move on. Um, there we go. Yeah, what I need are some tropical rocks. And then and I'm basically going to raid this little this formation um, for plants. And I'm not going to take them away. I'm copying them. Um, you know, basically what I want, what I do here is I want is to um, um, decorate the pathway. Uh, uh, you know, so it doesn't so it's so desolate. But definitely make it make it appear like this part of it is being is isolated because to be brutally honest, this part of it is of it being isolated. Um, as to why, you will see in a moment. Um, yep. Okay. And, uh, you know, I want it to be basically thick and bushy at this point. 
you know, I want this to look like, you know, I, I the rock wall is going to be there and people are going to notice, but what I want people to think is that this is just a jungle, just a jungle. you know, it's not necessarily a, a an artificial bank of plants that um, uh, is placed against an artificial rock artificial. wall. What I want is I want people to think, hey, this is, this is a jungle, because that's the, the impression I'm giving off. So... We're going to continue this. I'm going to copy this again. Um, let's lower this a little and we'll bring it in just a touch like that. Okay. Now I'm going to go back over here and grab this oh look at that people are still looking at it even though they can't see it isn't that ridiculous okay I'm going to copy this bring it all the way up here I'm not going to change the message, however, because this is um, poaching in the in the exotic the, the exotic pet trade, and that's a pretty important subject, and it's amazingly applicable to um, to chimpanzees and gorillas and orangutans and the other apes. So I'm just basically going to keep it there. I do, however, want to add some benches and some trash cans. Benches and trash cans being, you know, always acceptable. Okay, I have an alert. Let me check. Uh, the cheetahs are stressed. Well, apparently the cheetahs are going to be stressed. Um, I did what I could. I gave them, you know, they don't like a lot of... Uh, they don't like a lot of uh, coverage, so let me look at the cheetahs. It may just be that I need to... Okay, I've got two adults and I've got a couple of juveniles. I'm going to put everybody on birth control just to, pop to control the population. Um, for that matter, I'm going to do the same thing to the bonobos. I should probably do the same thing to the... Um, I should probably do the same thing to the mandrels. Wow. Okay. Well, she's getting a little old. So back to what we were doing over here. Um, after that, dig that, that that slight digression. Um, I want to put in an info booth. And then a, a souvenir shop. And I know you're wondering, well, why aren't you working on the gorillas? Well, the thing is, I'm trying to get the path that winds around to the gorillas done 
because it's all part of the vision and I've got the vision in my head and mostly what I've got in my head right now is the path le leading around to um, the gorillas. So I want to get the, the, the gorilla path done first. You may notice that these are a different theming. I'm using the African theming for these shops when I when I use the aquatic theming for the other shops, and that's because this is the, the special ape area. Um, I know it sounds pretty basic, but there it is. Um, let's see. All right. I'm also going to add a bathroom up in here. but not least Okay, what I need now, standing signs, shop signs, and get rid of the African part, and I'm looking for just a memento. Nope, I'm looking for hat, hats fantastic. There we go. Now, back around here, I promise you, we will be getting to the habitat shortly. Um... Back along here. It's a little large. Let's use banana palms. Oh, no. Let's use these. Century plant, just because you can never have too many cent century plants. I guess technically you could, but you know, you guys know what I mean. All right. 
So we've got a little bamboo in here. We've got a century plant. Basically, we're just, you know, making it obvious that this is a jungle path. Okay? That's what we have along this little route, a jungle path. Um, I'll do a little more of this jungle theming uh, later. Right now, whoop, I, I keep brushing my mic. Let's lay out what we want with the Gorilla Hab. Okay, let's make it 10 meters, please. There we go. Now, let me check something really quickly. First, let's, let's take care of that nonsense right away. This is just to give us room to work. Also, some place to put the orangutans. So, let's get the path. Um, as usual, I've I've begun to lapse into si silence. I apologize about that. Um, Doe, just so you're aware, if you hear rumbling behind me it's because there's a thunderstorm going on outside um and those are always fun <clears throat> so let me okay that's apparently that's going to work Okay. All right. Okay, very cool. Close enough. Whatever. Um, so what this is going to be, obviously, this is going to be our Gorilla Hab. And um, what I want it to do, I just I, I put the gate in so I could check on the land area. The land area is 1,336 square meters. Uh, the lowland gorillas need... 780 so it should be more than enough at least as things stand right now um, That said Things are not going to necessarily stand the way they are standing that sounded weird, but you know what I mean All 
Okay, let's see something here. There. All right. I keep bumping my my mic, you know. Every time I get myself something to drink, I bump my mic with my hand, and you guys hear about it. I'm sorry about that, guys. Now that we've got some rocks down and we're, we, we can um, pound out, ex no pun intended, pound out exactly where the borders of the gorilla habitat are actually going to be. Um, I don't want anything visible from this side. That's just in, in the concept of the habitat I have in my head. That's just the way it is. Nothing visible from this side. Um, I'm going to expand this out just a little, give us a little more room. Yeah, okay. If that's the if that's going to be the limit, then that's the limit. So. And, um, yeah, I am playing a little fast and loose with the terrain, but that's okay. That's what I want. Um, I'm sorry to keep going quiet on you. I'm, I'm kind of concentrating. And as you guys know from previous videos, when I do that, I tend to zone out. It's a bad habit, and I need to break it if I'm going to keep doing this, this YouTube thing, because nobody likes to sit in a quiet video. Um, you know... <sighs> I'm having a pretty good day. It's rainy outside, and you know, but that's not uncommon for Florida in the winter. And technically, this is still Florida in the winter. Um, we've been having pretty good weather. It did get cold for a little bit, but it was cold for Florida. And cold for Florida, as has been pointed out to me by many friends who are in the Midwest United States, cold for Florida is not cold for the rest of the world. So there you have it. Um, Let me get this done. What I'm doing is I'm basically lowering this part of the habitat, and I also want to lower this part of the path. So the habitat and the path right here are basically on the same level. even if the habitat is not necessarily even here either. All right, there we go. 
Now, now let's put the barrier back. Why is that not? gonna give me something like terrain too uneven yeah okay fine There we go. So, uh, let's put a path in so I have a guide here. We're doing six wide in this section. this work, this path, we're, we're going to make this path work. I'm actually happy with that. I don't mind having it swing wide here. Okay. Let's back that up a little. It'll swing a little wide here too, but that's all right. Come on. I need you to be... I need you to connect. I need you to connect. Why are you not connecting? Okay. Terrain obviously is uncooperating. 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 I meant to say uncooperative, and I said uncooperating. Oh, ho. Boy, oh boy, okay. Paths. What's a guy got to do here? Huh? What's a guy got to do? Well, you know what? We will cheat. We will cheat. There. Boom. So let's get the barriers going again. Okay, and we'll move this one over here just a touch. Okay, and we will move this down here. All right. Ah, there goes the rain again. I don't know if you guys can hear it in the background. go back to the terrain because we're going to use the tool real quick. 
Uh, let's get this nice and narrow. Width is width is four. Height is eight. Let's move the width six. Five. Five will work. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to four. <laughs> 